Hey all, here OS Reviews. Over the past few years, a category I've always enjoyed taking a look at have been novelty lamps and LED mood lights. So today we're taking a look at yet another product that I think is kind of interesting. This is the Sener JF1. It's a jellyfish lamp, which the concept itself has been around for a number of years now, but it's just the fact that this one is on a larger scale, so it can sit on the side of a table. You can see more in terms of the surface area. It has these artificial jelly that will swim around inside of the lamp, which is motorized, it spins the water, aquarium feel, but without having to actually have live jellyfish uh, inside. And it also has these RGB lights, which you can change through 17 different preset effects for altering the color and shade of the jellyfish. And once again, just making it a pretty cool mood lamp in general. It can even be mounted onto the wall that looks very clean and minimalistic. At night, even claims to cast this glow on the outside of the lamp that just makes it look a little bit more mesmerizing. Otherwise, it has a stand mode, or again, you can mount it onto the wall. So two use cases. Claims to use a brushless motor inside, so as it's spinning the water and creating that movement, it's going to be quiet. The packaging here is quite simple on the inside. We have, of course, the optional base, which you can use to mount it onto a desk. Here's the actual jellyfish lamp itself, which is, again, round in terms of the shape and the window. We do have a few accent keys on the front, which you can tap on to change the color of the light and turn it on or off. At the very top, there's a latch that you can pull off to fill the tank with water. And then on the back, there are the mounting brackets for attaching it like a photo frame. Then at the very base here is the power adapter. Other accessories include the aforementioned remote control, which you can use to, again, adjust the color as well as the effects RGB. You also have access to this rod, which you can use when you are first putting in the artificial fish and jelly, so they will be placed where you want it and the machine will start to kind of scatter it apart. Of course, when everything is turned off, the fake jellyfish do look quite artificial, but hopefully once it actually turns on, it will begin to seem a little bit more realistic. It tells us to also add three drops of dishwashing liquid into the water to help it repel and make the movement feel a little bit more convincing. We have a few different colors and also some of the artificial fish. Indeed, everything is powered just by a simple barrel plug to a type A USB adapter. So you can even plug it into a computer or a standard wall adapter to turn it on. All right, so a slight jump cut and turning it on here for the first time. By the way, the tank here fills up using about six and a half bottles using a plastic water bottle here as measurement. So it does take a couple of fills there to get it completely submerged. And afterwards, the recommendation is to let it kind of whirl for about one minute before you pop in the artificial jellyfish. And one thing that you will be able to see here is there are a couple of kind of droplets of water that is stuck onto the back of the tank. To get rid of this for the best visual effect, that's why you can use this rod. So if I pop it into the water there from the top, you can then stick it onto the side and kind of scrape and move these bubbles, as you can see there, towards the top of the tank and get them to disappear. So it's kind of a interesting setup process if you want to clean this up. Again, just some oxygen that is caught. Afterwards, you should add three drops of dishwasher soap. Drop that in, one drop, two drops, three drops. This motor is super quiet. So as you can hear, it's not gonna be very distracting. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm just gonna gently stick it onto the top and then push it into the water down below. And there we go, we have our first jellyfish successfully popped in there, starting to float and do its thing. Surprisingly, it's actually doing a pretty good job. It's not floating directly to the top or to the bottom and sinking. Now we're gonna pop in the next jellyfish, doing much of the same process. And there we go, we have now two jellyfish swimming around. Last but not least, we have one more large jellyfish and we will be done. The final piece is really just this small artificial fish that is uh, not quite the same scale as this jelly that we have floating around. And there we have it. All of the jellyfish have now been popped into the tank. There's two more mini ones giving us a total of five, plus two of those artificial fish, which I think personally 
Uh, maybe the effect isn't quite as convincing as the jellies, which are translucent, so I would probably just prefer to leave them out, but of course that's just personal preference. They do of course move around because of the current that's generated, just a little bit more robotically, they don't float around quite as much. Um, but still, you can tell that the effect here is actually looking quite good as it moves around. One thing I will say though is there is bound to be a little bit of those bubbling that comes into play, just because again, as there's current and water being swirled, you'll see a little bit of the oxygen start to float onto the surface of the jellies. We can kind of see that if we zoom all the way in, so the way that they recommend to get rid of that is again using that rod just by swirling it around and then it will move the water to the top, and the same thing goes to the tiny bubbles still attached onto the surface of the glass window, you can always use that to further clean it off. Now the recommendation is to also change out the water after, let's say, a few weeks of usage, so it keeps it clean, even though you don't have to, of course, put any food in here. It's just to make sure that, again, as it's in there, it doesn't become stale. Still, it's a surprisingly convincing effect, I have to say, popping it onto a wall. Again, if you remove the fish, I think that it would look even more realistic, and uh, overall casts a pretty cool glow, especially if you are into, again, this aesthetic of uh, a marine sea vibe. I think you'll really like this effect, particularly like that glow on the outer parameter on the back with the LED strip just casting kind of a reflection on the wall. So let's try some of the other modes. Once again, you can change the colors one at a time. So this will actually go into a quote-unquote white light, but it's still more of a bluish tint. It will just stop changing the colors. You can also go into single colors like a red light. And here's the view. If I turn all the lights off, it becomes just a little bit more mesmerizing in my personal opinion as you just stare into it and see the jellies and fish swirl around. All right, so that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of the Fonzic Scenic FJ1 is a creative RGB lamp. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.